Yo guys, what is going on? Nickname is just Yellow and today this Norwegian hardcore PC gamer figured that he would make a quick little video about how to make yourself a nice auto XA file. So this is gonna be a very simple one, obviously, uh, as you go along you can customize it further on as you would like. And I'm gonna include in the bottom of this video, in the very 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 end, in bottom, I'm gonna include, um, let's see here. Yeah, it's gonna be one or two links towards sites that allow you to systematically go through the entire list of valuable commands for CSGO and pick out the ones that you want to apply or customize. So the point with an AutoXA file is to launch a couple of commands before uh, or rather uh, apply them directly to the, your config file, sort of speak, before the game even begins, if that makes any sense. Which in hindsight will allow you to more effectively apply settings that you would rather prefer. One of them being 128 tick. Okay, playing on those servers have a lot of benefits and obviously it require, you know, a stable internet connection, a 144 hertz screen, you know, to get more visual, um, a more visual... Uh, benefit of it rather and also a decent computer you need those three things if you have those from before you should think of getting an auto exe file because it will properly apply 128 tick which then will technically give you the benefit that you're looking for in that avenue so that being said um, yeah, let's get to the nitty-gritty stuff, shall we? Um, I'm just gonna go through this relatively quickly, and then I'll, I'll stop for any details, okay? So, here we are in our Windows 10 desktop, my, because I got the pre-fucking version of Windows and that bullshit. It, it's quite nice, by the way. Um, and what you want to do initially uh, for these, the file actually to get executed whenever you launch CSGO uh, in, initially um, is to, you know, well, first, first, first thing first, close... CSGO. Second thing is to right click on CSGO, then I want to click on properties, and then uh, this window right here will come up, okay? Now you want to click on the set launch options, and then this window right here will come up. Um, in the very end, or anywhere really, as long as you have this section that I have in the end right here, as long as you have that, that right, um... What the fuck? There we go. There we go. That was fucking weird. As long as you have plus exec, auto exec, just as I wrote it right there, I'll, I'll copy paste it in the description of this video. If you have that in your uh, launch options, just click OK. Um, you are pretty much set to make the file and execute the content and the file itself. So click close. Actually, my bad. No, I, yeah, actually, I'm my bad. You need to go on the properties again. Then you're gonna click on local files this time. Now we're gonna click on browse local files. When you are here, you are close to getting to the point in which you do all the magic, okay? So you just make this here full, double click on CSGO, double click again on CFG, that folder. When you are here, I recommend thoroughly to do exactly what I'm doing now. Just right click in the white space, click on view, and then on details. If you do this, you'll get it up systematically, and now you wanna just filter it by date modified. Make the arrow go downwards. So AutoXA will normally be on top because it's a file that regularly gets changed, okay? You know, because a lot of stuff happens in there. So anyways, now, I mean, I meant the config if I didn't say that. Anyways, so now what you want to do is to make your first config file. So just right click on the empty space, click on new, um, text document. Um, you can, uh, now you need to, you know, name it what you want to name it, which should be AutoXA, the regular name. Uh, auto exec there. Uh, in my case scenario, by the way, I'm just gonna do this as an example. I need to make myself a fourth one, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is to type four in the end. You people don't do that, because that way it won't work. It has to be the same name in the pre-launch option as with a file. So I'm gonna click enter, and now you need to actually make that file a CFG file. This is the part in which I had a couple of smaller annoyances with in the past, but still I'm just gonna show you quickly here. So what you wanna do is to open the file, just leave it empty, you technically don't need to, but uh, I would rather do it this way. Click directly on save as, you wanna click on the save as type, click on all files, now you wanna click on the name, let the name stay, and then the end you click dot CFG. Uh, I'm not sure if big or small letters matter. I just click, uh, I just type them in big letters. CFG. Now, when you click save, a new file is going to be made that is a CFG type file, a config file, which is exactly what Steam and Valve and CSGO, all that bullshit, that is what they're looking for in this system. So, you know, goes without saying. So now you can delete your regular text document, as it says right there. And now you have that CFG file. So you want to open the CFG file. 
Um, now I mean the auto.exe file, I said that wrong, the auto.exe file. Now you have your initial auto.exe file, you want to open it now, and now apply the commands at hand. Now I've made a couple of very simple settings here in which that you, you can start out with these, I'll put them in the description in that, the order that I'm showing you right now. Um, you want to have these uh, you know files in there and now you're pretty much set. I'll quickly go through what they mean and then we are pretty much done and then you can go on to customizing them further. Uh, obviously a little bit of trial and error is required in order for you to be able to you know set stuff as you would like them to be. Uh, but me personally I'm like th this looks like a pretty nice start I would say. So then we got CL, CM, uh, CMD rate. Then we got CL update rate. Uh, they set the rate for upload and download of your the packets that your game is sending to the server and what you're receiving and stuff like that. Uh, the rate is one uh, one twenty eight thousand. So you know there's that. Uh, CL interp zero and CL interp ratio one. Uh, that, that, that that's all about the system in which the game will try and uh, you know. What is the word I'm looking for? It's trying to guess what will happen in in between frames and packets that you get and stuff like that. That that's in regard towards that entire system. Normally I turn it off, but still, you know, it's not too important. Just have it like that is a nice start at least. Um, then we got netgraph one and netgraph position two, and then netgraph proportional font zero. Those three commands I got them there in order for you people to just get yourself a nice little netgraph so that you can see that the rate has been applied or not. Uh, the position is all the way down at the screen. And and then the uh, font size is very small, so it won't take too much space. That's what I'm using anyways, so hopefully that will uh, help your people out in terms of actually seeing whether or not it's applied whenever you launch the game. Because it will say down to the right, 128 tick if it's applied properly. Um, then we got our draw tracer first person zero. I just added that for fun. Uh, it's so that the tracers will be disabled whenever you play the game. In my personal experience, um, it's nice to have off. I'm not sure, even sure if it's relevant or not, but I figured I would just include it for, because why, why not? Technically, if it's something that even affects the game, it should give you a better frame rate, by the way. So yeah, there we go. Anyways, let's move on here. Um, CL disable... Um, HTML MOTD, that's the motto of the day, or message of the day, or whatever the fuck that is. I think it's message, yeah. Um, I have that set to zero. It, like, as it says, it says CL disable uh, message of the day, or uh, yeah. If you have that on one, it will turn off the message that initially appears in a couple of servers, but also it will disable annoying advertisements whenever you play custom servers. So this can be nice, maybe mainly because you don't get to hear the ads that might appear in the background, very annoying. Uh, while in all the case scenarios it's actually bad if you're playing ECA. The reason for this is because now you don't get to just click stats pug and you can check out the stats live, okay? So it really depends, you need to think of this command and maybe memorize it and, you know, change it on the, on the go if you truly want to, you know, you know, fluctuate in between those things. Still, I, at least I would uh, include it for people who would, would like that. And some people don't even know it exists, so yeah. Then we got CL show clan in death notice zero. It's just so that death notices looks more clean. CL loadout, uh, color weapon names, one. It makes the, you know, the coloring down on the right side of the, your screen in this uh, avenue. Make you know the names more colorful in terms of what grade they have, and then we got Echo Time to Beast. That's uh, another nice notifier of the file has been loaded whenever you launch the game and you check your console. Then lastly, we got Host Write Config. This section right here is what just makes the file run and work initially. So there we go. That's an auto exe file. You can customize it however you like. Add whatever the hell you want. Now I'll quickly just show off my initial one. Uh, this is mine. Uh, here we got a lot of commands. I've added my crosshair. I've added uh, small details about the view model, a little bit about my sensitivity, and a lot of the customized settings I have. You can add whatever the hell you want. Okay, so that's that. Good luck. Do whatever the hell you want with this. But if you have this, it's a good start. So anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you want to support the YouTube channel, and that got a little bit too dark, I would say. There we go, that's better. So if you want to support the YouTube channel, we got a lot of things that you can just do. Read that in the description. Other than that, thanks for watching. Support is greatly appreciated. Have a nice day, and don't get beastified when you play.